We were provoked during the elections. They deployed agents who killed and maimed many. According to Peter B. On the just concluded elections. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post or juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, P2B, has charged all Nigerians, especially his supporters, to remain patriotic and show some wisdom as they wait for Great Nigeria. He revealed the importance of obeying the rule of law while serving the country diligently, using the political event in Adamawa State as an example. It is said that P2B and the Labour Party have been under fire for challenging the election process, which declared Bola Ahmed Terembu president elect of the country. Speaking via his Twitter handle, P2B emphasized the need to obey the rule of law as a patriotic Nigerian who wants to serve his country diligently. Saying that despite being provoked during the presidential election, they showed restraint, patriotism, and wisdom because they were voting for a greater Nigeria and not for the destruction of the country. Revealing that during the election, agents were sent to kill and wound many Nigerians, but they kept quiet and remained cool because they are on the journey to do a better. They are on the journey to a better and happier Nigeria. We were provoked during the elections. But we showed restraint, patriotism and wisdom because we were voting for a greater Nigeria and not the destruction of Nigeria. They deployed agents and maimed many, including innocent women. But we kept our cool. Peter Beast post as seen on Twitter with thus. Recent events in our country, including political development in Adamawa State, underline the importance of adhering to the rule of law. As a patriotic Nigerian who has served this country diligently, we were provoked during the elections, but we showed restraint, patriotism, and wisdom because we were voting for a greater Nigeria and not for the destruction of Nigeria. They deployed agents who killed, maimed many, including us innocent women, but we kept our cool. I plead to every Nigerian to keep the faith and hope in Nigeria life. We are on this journey together and better and happier years await all of us. God bless the federal, God bless the good people of Nigeria and the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Tomorrow night, I'm going to this man, I'm going to in people, making, make, he cannot talk, speak to his people. They will not see this post where he's saying his people to remain calm. And I said, what stopped crisis from happening during that election period was because the people who were being attacked did not retaliate. Had it been the retaliated Lobaton, what you would have seen was a full blown. By now, we'll not even be talking about crisis. People not even be talking about coming to schools at all. This man can lie, except for Lagos, where we had a, a few pockets of violence. He should come out and tell us where and where again that we had the violence we are talking of. When talking, I expected him to cite example of the places and who and who they have killed during the election and how many Labour Party members they have killed. Brother, let me tell you that before the election number one, um, there's this article that showed, there's this particular, I don't know this boy's, the particular, uh, what's it called, his name. He was working jajajali with his uh, P2B flag, with Labour Party flag. I think it, this incident happened in Lagos at Oshodi. And do you know, if not for God that planted that soldier behind him, that was walking behind him, that so that man, so that, so that boy would die just because of nothing. He was attacked because he was actually holding the flag of liberal. It's not like he was saying anything. He was just walking with the flag. Oh. And he was attacked. That is one. Nobody came out to say this thing is not good. Oh. Nobody came out to say this is wrong. Nobody came out to condemn it. Number two. What happened was during the uh, what's it called? This I think the governorship candidate is it the governorship candidate? I don't remember what position she was contesting for, but she was it in Plateau or was it in I've forgotten the state, but she was killed, she was murdered in cold blood. To date, nobody came out to say hey or ho about it or who did it. Now, that is number two. Number three. 
the I think it is the House of Reps member. I mean, House of Rep, uh, uh, what's it called? Candidate. Or I think, is it the Senate? I think it's the House of Rep. He came out. What happened? He was burnt alongside his personal assistant. As in, he was burnt to death. Nobody came to say why. Everybody closed mouth. And then, the violence that happened there at Lagos, the violence that happened at Portacot, all those violence. But the one way we see, but the one we will not see. But the one way then kill people, carry body so that nobody go know. Till date, it don't happen. Yet you are coming out to say that uh, you are coming out to say that the man is lying. See, if you say the election is free and fair, may that kind of free and fair be happening in your life on a daily basis? Because it's hard time we start opening our eyes and saying some things. <laughs> Good, upright, and a man of God's grace speaking. God will continue to protect you, sir. Please, just calculate the people that are dying in Ibo's land. It means you are the root of the problem. <laughs> you speak though you, you speak through drug is somebody. I don't understand. What is this person trying to say? Please, who is a good man? The man is not anywhere good. First and foremost, the lies about the lies about all he said. Does that look good? Can you lie before God, Yahweh? Thou shalt not lie. The commandment is meant for us, not anymore. How does that post good nature of P2B? I beg, I beg, I beg. What about your candidate? You want you want them to tell you what about your candidate that has been accused of pushing drugs? Eh? <laughs> Let me remind the people that election, Matiton, this is not a matter of their campaigning. So why their tax? All right. Likewise, go and ask Tunumbo and Yoruba character to Tunumbo, deputy governor, when he was a governor. The woman say if they swore to be in as president, she would change her passport. She does not need to ask her. She do, she, you don't need to ask her at all. Your Jagaban is marketing the drugs for the Igbos, right? Reasonable Yorubas does not reason and talk like you. Let me reply, let me tell us all this thing. I've told you people election has come and go. It is high time you take back your life and make something out of it. It is high time you take back your life and make something out of it. It is no longer funny that the attacks keep coming or this kind of stuff we keep still having it. All right. On this note we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy.